Hey guys, welcome back to Rad Resales. I'm Natalie. I'm Will. And we are resellers, meaning we flip items online for a profit. In today's video, we're going to take you on a little adventure when I went to go pick up a NASCAR mm -hmm. haul. And then after that video, we're just going to go through everything that I picked up and show you guys. Here's what the Facebook Marketplace NASCAR listing looked like. And here are the prices that she had. Three or four, at least. But no, there's a lot of. Yeah, I'm probably going to take Carl most of Edwards, these. I've got uh, Tony Stewart. I don't know if you. How much did you want for a shirt? I was just going to ask for a couple bucks. Okay, okay. Wow. My wife's going to go nuts. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty one right That there? is beautiful, the all-over print. Uh, I uh, had been planning to make a quilt out of the, out of the, in fact, I have already cut some of the shirts uh -huh. to make a quilt. Yeah. So, and I have material too, but I've been planning that for over 10 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it, it, you know, I'm just procrastinating. And then I, I had made two quilts. I made a quilt of, for my daughter. Uh-huh. Of all the schools she went to. What schools did she go to? School. Oh. Well, in, uh, well uh, elementary and... Oh, okay, okay. Schools, legacy, she went to a... University of Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, and then she went to the U of A. Oh, nice. And then she went to Yavapai College. She got in the honors program at Yavapai, and then they transferred you. She transferred to a uh, bachelor's. So she got a bachelor's degree. Wow. You raised her right. What's this? I said you raised her right. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I did the school shirt, and then I did a concert shirt for her. All the... She... Uh, all the concerts she's been to, uh -huh. bands, and uh, things like that. So, uh, so. I, I furnished some of my stuff with yards, well, Facebook Marketplace. Uh -huh. Like, I got this shelf and that dining room set. Because I came, I grew all the way from Arizona with my camper, but I had uh, the pack thing, so I had more boxes and stuff. Wow. I have gotten rid of a lot of stuff. I had so much crap. <laughs> and, you know, I'm a seamstress. So uh huh. I have a sewing room full of fabric. Wow. Yeah. So are you still making stuff and everything? Yeah, I'm still planning to make a quilt, a uh, NASCAR quilt. Okay. I have a rusty material. I have fabrics. That I got at a yard sale, believe it or not. What? You get, ten years ago. You get all the deals. I know. The jackets I was going to, 10 bucks a team. That's understandable. North Carolina Tar Heels. You got some cool vintage stuff here. Right. And I know that some of it is. And like I said, I, I had to... Really strange ones. Wanting to come over, and I, I think, do I really want them over here? Yeah. Just, I, I, I've been trying to filter. But I've had people, you know, I keep on telling people, oh, I, you know, I have somebody tell me. Because, you know, I. So I seen a listing on Facebook Marketplace, and I reached out to the lady, and we were talking for. A few minutes and it turns out I couldn't meet up with her for like three days yeah. and I just want to stress to you that it is very important to just be polite be respective and be nice because this lady literally waited for me to become available three days later to go take a look at this stuff pictures weren't that great but it was NASCAR stuff and it sells very well for us she even said and I'm mad I cut it off at the end of the video that she had other people reaching out to her and like kind of in a, an aggressive way 
and she was saying people were offering double whatever I was going to offer her and they were saying that whenever he leaves tell me right away I'll be right there it, it was nuts it was nuts and she was telling me she was just like I don't think I want these people here in my house so I'm gonna wait for this guy who is nice so yes Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> it pays, it pays to be nice. <laughs> so we're going to show you all the pieces more closely, starting with probably the best one that we picked up or that you picked up. <laughs> all over print, front and back. How sick is this t-shirt? She couldn't stop telling me how Rusty Wallace was her favorite. This was honestly potentially the coolest one I've ever seen. And here's the tag. It's a Chase Authentics. It's a size medium, but it looks bigger in size. Yeah, I would say about a large. Yeah, if not an extra large. Yeah. Because it could probably fit you. I should have tried to wear that one. This, this, this. It's <laughs> cool t-shirt. <laughs> And this one right here was one of my favorites. I'm gonna keep this as a personal little Eminem NASCAR collab. It's pretty cool. With the Halloween theme. Yeah. And then we have this super vintage nutmeg, nutmeg. made in USA, rusty Wallace, very cool. It's got the, what is that, Miller beer mm. hit on the bottom there. And I like how it's actually a little like scratch, cracking. yeah, the little cracking there just makes it look more authentic. Gives it personality. Yes. Next piece is another all over print. And that is something you always want to state in the listing too. All over print is something many people search up when they're looking for t-shirts. Look at this, all over print, front and back and sleeves. Boom. Wow. <laughs> Winner circle, baby. <laughs> and it's on a Hanes tag comfort size adult extra large another sick t-shirt look at that man <laughs> and then so as you probably heard in the video t-shirts were all two dollars mm -hmm. jackets were ten dollars mm -hmm. i spent a total of 58 dollars in total and i got a few hats here that i'll show you guys for a buck each this one right here is a nascar jacket it's not the biggest or hottest seller um, this racer, I don't even know his name, but I looked it up. They were selling for around like $30, $40 roughly. Yeah. But with our photos and measurements and everything, I think we could easily get $60 for this. Hmm. Got stitched in back too. On the sleeves here, on the back. Yeah, that's cool. And it's like a very nice blue, blue color. So I think this is going to do very well on like our Depop platform. Next, we have another t-shirt. It's a Chase Authentics 3XL, and it's a Chase Sprint Cup 2009. This one right here isn't anything to brag about. No. I'd probably say this is like a $20 yeah. shirt, 20 shift. Yeah. Uh, but for two bucks, it's a nice store filler and a nice mm -hmm. bread and butter piece to keep the income coming in. Exactly. And we just wanted to take a second, guys, and we just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support. We finally hit a thousand subscribers, and as you guys know, that's a huge milestone on a YouTube channel. If you aren't subscribed, 48% of you that watch our videos, <laughs> could you please be kind enough to hit that subscribe button? That really helps out me and Natalie in our journey with this YouTube channel. Thank you. All right, on to the next piece. We have another jacket. Damn. I was going to show that one and put it over this one. Stop. <laughs> All right. So this is the front. It's like a satin feel. And then it's on a NASCAR. Yeah, you good, bro? The zipper works. I checked it. <laughs> on a NASCAR nutmeg tag right here. And then on the back all embroidered what does it say wallace rusty wallace wow this is a sick piece yeah this is what caught my attention in the listing even the zipper tab has like a big like nutmeg on it next piece here her sizing was all over the place yeah from medium to 3x well this one's 2xl this one is only uh, print on the front side. It has a nice fade to it. This one, just like the last one, should be about a $20, $25 t-shirt right here. Yeah. We have another t-shirt and I really like the red 
and white stripe on the sides and it's like a three-fourth length sleeves it right. gives me like the baseball vibes it does and it's a 2xl great size on a chase authentics tag and just blank on the back another 20 to 25 shipped yep and then just going to show the hats here oh that's super cool. vintage this one is a rusty wallace got the embroidered card yeah. there and a few of these hats have the pins on it so very cool um one thing that i would recommend for hats you definitely want made in usa mm -hmm. um some of the tags don't say it and you want to look on the snapback and it says it right there but this one, I, I haven't looked up any of the hats. I, I just love selling them. But this one, we could probably get about 20, 25 plus shipping. Well, I want a cool one. Oh, you're going to show the best one. This one is the money maker. We got a Top Gun. As many of you know, the new Top Gun movie is out. So this one with Dale Earnhardt. I don't know if this is homemade, but she's got the, the patches, patches on, on front, back, and sides. Oh, wow. <laughs> it looked great. Then next up, we have another vintage Made in USA Winston Cup Series here with the cool pin. The pin itself is from 1998. That's <gasps> awesome. So, yeah, all these are, like, great quality. Uh, there's no, like, real wear there. I'm just essentially going to have to reshape these. And I do it with a pot. I turn the pot upside down, stick the hat on top, and let it sit for about a day. That's a good tip. Next up, we have an, a very cool like teal color with all embroidered front and the snapback. You always want to look for snapbacks too compared to the ones that are just one size because yes. this one fits a lot more heads. Yeah, unless you got a huge dome. Right. Made in USA, a vintage tag right there. Very cool, different. And then we have, as you've seen in the video, a vintage North Carolina Tar Heels snapback hat here and it's got cool. the little like tallies on the back it's that one's cool yeah yeah just very cool different unique piece here i wish it was embroidered on the front oh that would have been, been hot mm, that would have been yeah. hot but made in usa again mm -hmm. and last hat is another green rusty wallace yellow all embroidered front here and it is also on a made in the usa tag on the inside snapback this one right here is a Rusty Wallace size XL on a chase tag. Uh, this one I might have to soak in the Oxy. It, it has like a yellowy tint a to it. A dinginess. Yeah, but that's okay. For two bucks, I'll take it. Yeah. Next, we have a fun one. It's a Kellogg's. So cool. Chase Authentics t-shirt. Uh, it's pink here. I'm assuming it used to be white, but then it bled over from the red on the bottom there. But it still looks kind of good. Fits. Yeah. It fits. And this one is number 1996 on the back here. Uh, I think this one we could probably get around like 30. Yeah. And then we have a sportswear size medium made in USA. Mm. Rusty Wallace. This one's cool on the front, but the back is what I really like. Boom. Kodak racing with the bear. <laughs> Okay, super quick, we discovered something huge when we looked up vintage Kodiak racing t-shirts. You will see these cheap prices here. Do not compare your vintage t-shirts to these 10 to $20 t-shirts because they are reprints on cheap brands such as Gildan. In other words, the 10 to $20 t-shirts that look identical to the one that we have on here are not accurate comps whatsoever. If you ever come across a listing that says vintage in the title, but when you scroll down on the listing, it says new and you can choose size, they are not vintage. These are cheap reprints. Very nice. Uh, this piece, I think we could get about 20, 25. Yeah. Just kidding. After doing a lot more research on Kodiak, we realized it's worth a lot more than we thought at the time. And I'm so glad we did research on it and did not put this t-shirt up for 20, 25 dollars because it is worth a lot more, as you can see on these gums. And same for this one. This is probably fifteen to twenty dollars shipped. I would say it's a winner's circle tag. Dale Jr. Baby. Nothing on the back. Raise hell, praise Dale. <laughs> we love ourselves the windbreakers. This one is a super thin one. We got the Miller Lite. What is that? Rusty. 
Yep, rusty. Um, size XL on the chase tag. Easy pick up here. Next, we have... Oh, this one's Fred. Oh, <laughs> Crisp colors on a jersey's tag. Look at those colors. And then it also has... Whatever 1998 that is. Winston Cup series. That's fresh. Yeah. I might it's keep clean. that one too. Very clean. Look at that. Boom. It's a size medium. Big in size. So I thought we put all the good ones up at the front. But this one is one of my favorites also. This one's oh. sick. Size medium. I think I what? actually tried this on. It's big. Yeah, boom. <gasps> Look at that. Whoa! Look at that. The explosion. Yeah, that's cool. Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry. And then we got the hit on the back. Very cool. 2000. So it's 22 years old. Vintage. Hashtag vintage. <laughs> and this last one, she, a family member bought this for her. She was like, I hate that guy. I don't know why <laughs> they bought it. Tony Stewart. <laughs> well, extra large. Won't get much for this one, even though it's double-sided. There's no colors on it. Yeah, very plain. Yeah. Probably 15, 20. Yeah. Did you show your shirt, too? I oh, like your shirt. Oh, and then we got my shirt, too, that I'm wearing right now. It's the size medium, I think. I'm on the chase tag. This is the front, and then this is the back. Very cool. Love the graphic. It just, like, screams, like, 80s vibes to me with that colorway. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, all in all, we paid, like he said, $58 for all of these items. I'm expecting a very huge return on investment here. Oh, for sure. Thank you guys again for your support. We appreciate it. See you guys on the next <laughs> one.